Now in its 24th year, the Philippine Mathematical Olympiad is the oldest and most prestigious nationwide mathematics competition among high school students. After its trial run in 1984, it was officially launched in 1986 and has been held annually since 2007. The country's contestants to the International Mathematical Olympiad are chosen from the top students who compete in the Philippine Mathematical Olympiad. The PMO is a project of the Mathematical Society of the Philippines and the Department of Science and Technology Science Education Institute. Hello everyone, my name is Isam Wang, a participant of the 21st to the 23rd Philippine Mathematical Olympiad, welcoming you to another episode of the PMO video series. For today, we have two problems from geometry. Let ABC be a right triangle where AB equals 7, BC equals 24, and with hypotenuse AC. Point D is an AC such that AD is to DC is 2 is to 3. Let M and N be relatively prime positive integers such that BD squared equals M over N. Now relatively prime meaning the GCD is 1. So technically speaking, uh, BD squared can be expressed in lowest terms as this M over N and they were asked to get m plus n. We hinalap lang natin kung ano yung sum ng numerator pati at ang denominator ng value ni bd squared. Okay, now, geometry to, so kailangan natin ng magandang figures. So let's try to sketch it roughly. Now, uh, before that though, I think we could get some uh, things we need here because, well, right triangle nga siya. We already know what the hypotenuse is. So, uh, we can use the Pythagorean theorem. So, um, yung dalawang legs ng triangle, ab equals 7, bc equals 24. 7 squared plus 24 squared equal to dapat sa AC squared. Okay, 7 squared is 49. 24, is, 24 squared is 576. Equal to sa AC squared. That's going to be equal to 625 on the left side. And then equal to sa AC squared. So in AC, I square root ng 625. And that's 25. So we have the famous Pythagorean triple 7, 24, 25. Okay. All right. Now, let's try to uh, roughly sketch the figure. So, take a look at this figure on the right. Uh, yes, alam na natin na AC is 25, but I'm just going to put it right here for now. Because meron pa isang given. We have a point D on AC, such that AD is to DC, I2 is to 3. So, D is on the hypotenuse um, AC. Mas maikli yung, uh, mas, mas maikli yung AD kesa DC. So, mas malapit yung D sa A kesa sa C. All right. And this will be point D. Tapos ang hinahanap natin na value ay bd squared. Okay, now, meron tayong two missing lengths here, the cd and the ad. Now, 2 is to 3 siya. So let's just represent it as 3x and 2x, just to represent the ratio. And then we could just do some algebra. Siyempre, itong 3x, pati itong 2x, pag pinagsama mo, edi buong ac yan, so 25. So 5x equals 25, we're going to get x is, x is equal to 5. Right, so itong 3x ay 15, itong 2x ay 10. And here is a nice setup. So kapag ganito ang setup, tapos marami kang alam na lengths, uh, in this case, parang BD na lang ang di natin alam kasi yan yung kailangan na nikunin, it is the direct application of a well-known theorem called the Stewart's Theorem. So balikan natin yung figure natin mamaya. For now, let's try to talk about the Stewart's Theorem. Now, ito na ang formula ng Stewart's Theorem. Now, sinadya ko siyang isulat ng ganyan, man plus dad is equal to BMB plus CNC. Now, yung BMB, I like to think it think of it as a bomb. And then yung CNC, let's put it as a sink. So a kitchen sink. Ganun. All right, so a man and his dad puts a bomb in the sink or something like that. Madali lang sa tandaan. Siguro ang mas complicate, complicado lang dito ay ang pag-set up natin ng triangle. But that's not worries because we're going to use, obviously, we have six letters, M, N, that's yung A, B, C, D. Now, here is the step. Here are the steps. This thing, the, the, the segment that connects a vertex to any point on the opposite side, I think opposite ng vertex na ito. So uh, we generally call this a chevion, right? That's generally called a chevion. Now, marami tayong special chevions, uh, special names, sorry. Altitudes, right? That's vertex, the, the perpendicular's opposite side, right? Meron the angle bisector, right? that bisects the angle, and we also have a median that connects to the midpoint of the opposite side. So, so those are special names of chevions, but generally, ang tawag natin dito ay chevion, okay? Now, ang chevion na ito, we're automatically going to assign it the length of D. So next, also obviously the chevion intersects a side of the triangle, 
we're gonna assign it the length of A. And A ay siyempre na intersect, so nahati siya sa dalawang part. The left part and the right part. Now, yung M and N, you can distribute it however you like. So, put the M and N here, or vice versa, M here and N here. But just for demonstration purposes, yung M ilalagay ko sa left, yung N ilalagay ko sa right. So, this will be M, and then this will be N. Next, the long letters lang, B and C. Naisipin nyo na lang na yung bomb ay magkasama na sa formula. So, we're going to assign B yung side na hindi na connect sa M. Right? So, these two green segments, they don't intersect. So, this green segment will have a length of B. Similar reasoning sa sink. So, C and C. So, yung C pati yung N magkasama na sa formula. So, yung N pati C sa triangle ay hindi dapat mag-intersect. So, this side will have a length of C. And that's how we set up the triangle. Okay? Now, going back to our figure over here, we just have to work out the assignment. Tapos, we can use the formula. Okay? So, Balikin natin triangle. Let's just repeat the steps that I did. We have to make the chevyan. In this case, it's from vertex B to point D on the opposite side, which is the hypotenuse in this case. So BD automatically pag chevyan, yun ang gagawin natin, D. Next, yung nahate, in this case yung hypotenuse ay yung nahate, automatically yung kabuuan yan, we're gonna call it A. Right? So 25 na yung A. Next, yung nahate, uh, yung two segments, Yung 15 pati yung 10 here. Again, it doesn't really matter kung alin yung M, kung alin yung N. But for demonstration purposes, ito na lang yung M, tas ito na lang yung N. And then, B pati C na lang. Yung B ay hindi dapat nakakonect sa M. So yung 7 dapat yung B. And then, yung N dapat hindi nakakonect sa C. So yung 24, this is gonna be our C. Okay? So, recall lang natin. Man, so M, A, N man plus d a d dad is equal to b m b so bomb that was c n c so sink All right now um going back to the question nga pala hinahanap natin is b d squared now very nice dito kasi may dalawang tayong d here so d squared na siya uh, so we just have to solve for d squared in this case now uh medyo malalaki yung numbers but we can make them smaller because um, I see a lot of terms that might factor in a 5. Uh, unang factor, 15 times 5 times 10. That's going to be 750. Yung pangalawa, d times 5 times d. That's 5d squared. Then equal to 7 times 3 times 7. That's going to be 147. And then 24 times 2 times 24. 1,152. Alright. So we just have to solve for um, d squared na lang. Okay, so d squared would be equal to 549 over 5. So, ang d squared nga ay ang b d squared natin sa tanong. Uh, but let's just go back to the question as always. b d squared is 549 over 5. Pero sinasabi sa tanong na, okay, it's expressible as m over n in lowest terms. Now, checking this one, lowest term na siya. Kasi yung 549, wala naman siyang factor na 5. So, m would be 549. n would be 5. So, 549 plus 5 we're going to get the answer of 554, right? Now, there's another item that utilizes the same Stewart's theorem, and it came from the 20th PMO, so try natin ito. Almost the same concept in triangle ABC. D is the midpoint of BC. If the sides AB, BC, and CA have lengths 4, 8, and 6, respectively, then what is the numerical value of AD squared? Right, hindi na siya right triangle, so it's iba siya sa unang tanong, but roughly drawing a figure here, D is the midpoint of BC. So, yung Chevian sa Stewart's theorem is this AD. In this case, it's a median. Just having the rough sketch here of the figure, AB is 4, BC is 8. Pero, okay, midpoint ang D. So, tig 4 dapat to. And yung kabuan ni BC should be 8. Okay? And then AC is 6. And then, ito naman tayo, ang AD, hindi natin alam. So, Again, typical setup ng Stewart's theorem because my Chevian and we know a lot of lengths. So that's your um, that's probably the sign that we what we might be able to use the Stewart's theorem. Okay. Now uh, let me go to this part. Again, let's just do the same assignments. So again, AD will automatically be assigned the D. So AD is D, and then yung nahati ng Chevian in this case BC in yung maging A, right? So A equals eight. And then your empathy n, it doesn't really matter. Let's just say 
m is here, n is here, and then, well, m and b shouldn't intersect. So, etong b, uh, the, the length of 6 must be b, and then yung c pati n, they shouldn't intersect, so this must be the c. Okay, recall the formula, so m, a, n, d, a, d, b, m, b, c, n, c. Similar to the previous question, we could divide both sides by 8. Parami silang factors na 8. 4 and the 2 from the 6 na lang, hiram tayo dito. And then 4 and the 2 from this 4. Okay? So technically speaking, 4 times 4, so 16 na lang to, plus d squared. Again, d squared is what we want because the question asks for a d squared, which we let it to be d in this case. So 16 plus d squared equals siya sa 6 times 3, that's 18. Uh, 2 times 4, that's 8. All right, so d squared would be equal to 18 plus 8 is 26. That's minus yung 16. So apparently, ang sagot natin here would be 10. Going back to the question, we have 10 to be the answer. Right? The Mathematical Society of the Philippines is the country's premier professional organization dedicated to the promotion of mathematics research and education in the country. Founded in 1973, it has grown from a small Manila-based group of math educators to a nationwide network of individuals with chapters all over the country. The Philippine Mathematical Olympiad is organized by the Mathematical Society of the Philippines in partnership with the Department of Science and Technology Science Education Institute. The 24th PMO will be held online in two stages, the qualifying stage in February 2022 and the national stage in March 2022. The start of the registration is January 2022. More details are in our Facebook page and also in our webpage, pmo.ph.